Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Petrol Pump Management System. And I have developed this project in ASP, C Sharp, and MySQL. Also, I am running this project in Visual Studio 2017. But if you are 2015 or 2019, then you can also configure and run this project on those Visual Studio versions. Also, for uh, MySQL, I am using the MySQL 5.6. For connecting MySQL with the ASP and C Sharp, I am using the MySQL connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. Right. So these are the backend technologies and the server technologies which I have used for developing this project. This is a web-based project. So for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like for form validations, data calendar plugin integrations, I have used the jQuery plugins, right? So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project, petrol pump management system. So let's start at what we have added, what we have uh, developed in this project, right? So this is the home page of the project. This is a uh, static home page. There is nothing dynamic on it, right? You can see this is uh, some of the animations coming, right? This is a about us page and this is a static about us page. There is nothing dynamic on it. This is a contact us page and it's also a static. I am not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. Even I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. This is a login from where you will be able to log in. So this is a dynamic page and the user ID is admin and password is test. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you will not be able to log in, right? So once you log inside the system, you will get this dashboard. Here you can see there are some of the operations, some of the buttons here, some of the links here. So here is the ad tanker, this is ad supplier, this is ad machine. Tanker report, machine report, supplier report, and change password. The same menu option you will get on the header menu. So you can see the same menu option is coming here on the header menu. Right. So let me go through one by one. This is the add tanker. From here, you will be able to add the petrol tanker. Here, you need to set the supplier and the fuel type and the tanker number, tanker date, quantity, and tanker descriptions. Right. So these all information you can. Uh, enter and after it, once you click on the save tanker, this all details will be saved inside the MySQL database. This is add supplier. This is all about the suppliers. You can add the information on the supplier from this page. This is add machine. This is a machine, Mr. Uh, fuel machine, right? Here you can see there is a fuel machine is petrol or diesel, the machine number, company name and machine description. You can add the machine from here. This is add cells. Here you can add the cells, means the machine number, cells date, start trading, in trading, and search descriptions, right? So these all drop downs which I am showing on the showing inside the project, all are the dynamic drop down, all the value are coming from the database. Right. So these four forms you will get here, right? This all are the report. Here you can see the tanker report, you can edit and update the information right so this is a tanker report you can delete it also that tanker has been deleted this is a machine report all of the machines which you have uh, added will be displayed here this all information is coming from the database you can edit the record you can update the record right this is a supply report all of the suppliers will be displayed here right this is a cell support all of the cells uh, uh which you have saved will be displayed here this all cells is coming from the database you can edit and see the information here also right this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and after updating your account password your old password will not work right so for login inside the system you need your current updated password after login <coughs> for login this is the logout once you log out from the system, then this administration menu will not display, will not display because this is a session driven and it's trend according to session. So let me show you log out. You can see the menu option is not coming, but if I log inside the system, then it will come. So you can see it's coming, right? So it's a session driven menu and trend according to the session. So these are all functionalities I have developed inside this bit project petrol pump management system as i told you earlier this project is a asp c sharp and mysql based project and i have used visual studio 2017 for running this project right if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel 
for creating the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much